it's very aggressive. So I see how this can win games. So today I'll do some practice matches and maybe tomorrow I'll start a league, let's see. Okay, here we go. So land, Totter, Ginger, Brute, land, Ginger, Brute, that's going to be... Yeah, we can play the Mirror Enforcer and if they kill it, we are done, but I think this is a keep. Tough land, go. A gate. Gate is a tempo... Tempo-ish, control-ish deck. Okay. So, we have a crazy start. Combat hit you for one. Planes, okay. Cast down the ginger brute. Hmm. Questionable choice but by our opponent. Here, another one for you. But more importantly, a Peter. So one game, one life, sure. Beautiful. So I think he will trade with the frog knight. Do I care? I don't think so. Yep. Pass. Another one. Sure. Yeah, the mana base of this thing is a little bit all over the place. Go to eight. Return to the creature graveyard. Sure, can't do anything about it. A third one. Okay. Well, that's really the only way he can win this game, so good for him. I think I will attack with the Enforcer, and if he defends only with two, I will kill one with my Galvanic Blast. Okay, better later than never. Even blockable. Yeah, I think I'm going to... There is an interesting point of view. If I also kill this one, on the next turn I'm going to eat for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, unblockable, and then shoot you in the face. But I think I prefer to have my enforcers around. change much. Three squadron ox, okay. So play another one. Maybe. Rather's knight. A flying life link. Uh, blah blah blah. Whatever. Very very optimistic attack from his side, okay, sure. Frogma 
right, it's fine. Give. Make it unblockable. Attack for 10 and it should be done. So this looks like a mid-range deck. They use the graveyard, but I don't think it's interesting for us. They will try to kill our creatures, that's for sure. So we may use this one. And we can side out. Uh, yeah, I don't really know how to side with this deck. What's the weakest card? Probably Ornithopter. Maybe one Reckless Impulse and one Ornithopter. Just shaving a little bit here and there. Okay. Maybe one Thoughtcast would have been a, a better cut. Because I really have only five blue sources. No, five plus three drums. Eight blue sources. I'm not very convinced by the uh, by the mana base anyway. Sure, this is a mulligan. I think I want to do my own mana base. I copy this deck. So land, ginger brute. Land, Topter, Springleaf Drum, Frog Might. Yeah, I mean, this is a keep. And I think one Springleaf Drum is enough. Sure. Next turn I can have five, six artifacts. And yes, I can play the enforcer, so that's nice. Unless he kills one. Nope. Well, one, one flyer is not going to help you. Why did you get three? You have to discard one. Yeah, maybe this opponent is not really... Maybe he's trying out a new deck, he's not very sure what he's doing. Okay. Um, so Ginger Brute for sure. I want to give it unblockable, so I need one for sure. And uh, yeah, I think I would just do like this. Combat. So let's, I want to play some more matches, although I'm pretty sure I want to change my, I want to add another land. I mean, if I play Springleaf Drum just to get blue mana, I may as well play a Seat of the Synod, right? So I'm not very sure that Springleaf Drum is actually useful here. I don't know, I, I want to try out. Because I've seen every list is running Springleaf Drum, so probably they know better than me what they are doing. I just feel like this is a very weak top deck. Like when you top deck Springleaf Drum, you're like, Bleh. so I think this is a keep. It's not the fastest hand. We can go Razor Tide Bridge. So the point of this thing is when it enters or leaves the battlefield, I exile the top card of my library. So, so I think we play this one next turn. We play the red source. We play the experimental synthesizer. We see what's on top of our library. We play the clean talk and see again what's on top of our library. And I want to have on top of library what? That's a good question. What do we want on top of my library? So one time I think it's pretty safe. We can play this one time for sure. And we exile. What did I exile? How do I see my exiled cards? 
Oof. Maybe I didn't activate the ability. This is in exile. Why? That is not in exile. I have no idea how it works. Mm. So well, let's try again. So I play this one. I get the synthesizer back. Yes, I want to return the synthesizer. And if I click OK. Why? Why there is nothing on my stack? This is not even a choice. It has to be exiled. Why this is not exiled? Maybe it's a bug. I don't know. Well, an another reason not to play this deck, I guess. So next turn, I'll try to click on the activated ability. Maybe I have to put it on the stack, although this is not a, a choice. Uh, enters. Exile. You may play that card, but it should be. It should always be exiled. Ah, now I see the exiled cards. How how does this even work? I really don't understand. Is this a bug? Maybe you can help me in the comments below. I really don't understand. Is this a bug? So how is this opening another window? How does this even work? So play. Click on this one. No, no, it's OK. How, how do I see? How does this? Oh my god, MTGO is like just around. Ah, here it is, a very small. OK. Um, sure, play one like this, it's OK. Scred. Sure. <laughs> in MTGO, like, it's impossible to understand this thing. So, spring leaf drum. And I guess hit you for one. I don't think I could have played the thought cast, but I could have had another ornithopter in my, in my hand. I might play. Two, no problem. Mm -mm. So we can bolt my creature. Therefore, I don't think it's safe to use all that glitters. I want to understand how this thing is even working. So let's do like this. Blast. Yeah, sure. Blast your face. Create a 2 2. Play another land. Attack for one. So I think the first time I played the experimental synthesizer, the small window, either I didn't see the small window at all, or it was maybe below the the table, the, the gaming uh, window. So I have to pay attention to that thing. Play four. No, top four. Uh, late for dinner, resurrect a drifter, create a food token. Mm, sure. Now he's tapped out. And now we beat him, I guess. Uh, give unblockable. Let's make him think that maybe I don't have the bolt. I do have the bolt. So this is a control deck and he has a scred, so I think there is value in Hydroblast. Question is, what's bad? Hmm. I have no idea, I don't know how to sideboard. I can trim again. Um, he will have scred and we are exiling cards from the top of our library. 
so exiling instant and reactive cards is probably not a good idea so even my sideboard probably is not as good he has a resurrection effect do i really care probably not i think i'm gonna go main deck i just have i don't have a a clear view on how to sideboard land top there glint oak get back top there it's gonna be land frog might i think this is a keep not the strongest uh, start but it's okay I can play everything, right? Sure. Top there. Uh, one, two, three. No, I cannot play the frog might. Well, it's okay. I pass. He's ramping. Fine. So he may have boarded in Artifact Hate. So I believe it's better to use the all that glitters on the hawk. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I cannot play the enforcer. I think it's better to play the, the all that glitters anyway here. Combat hit you for ten. Well, this is very explosive, though. I see why this puts in the work. Uh, I see why this deck gets result. It's very explosive. So against a black deck, probably this is not a good idea, right? Because a black deck will kill your creature. But against a uh, damage based uh, type of removal I think this is okay they can bounce it's the worst that can happen um well combat two damage to each non uh well this will be a lot smaller but yeah, yeah what can I do okay Take six. It's costing four. I can take back the land and play the land again, right? Yes. Land. Land. This costs four. Uh, one, two, three. No, I don't have it. Okay, pass. Jordan is fine, he's looking for other removals. Yep. So last one, so let's play three matches. Just to have uh, you know, try a little bit. Oh no, again. Not you again. Uh, let's look for someone else, this one. Oh, bad is on me. Um, Okay, now he's playing with uh, someone else. Perfect. Well, this is a slow end, right? So this is a slow end, but I can try out my experimental synthesizer. So I'll keep. These thought casts on this mana base, they look awful. I don't think they are correct. There is something very wrong here. And I go. Okay, so this is a combo deck with uh, fog effects. I need a very fast end. I don't know. I think all this, I have to try and push. I don't know. Mm. Um. 
Well, let's go to combat first. Combat. Take it. Beautiful. Maybe not. Opponent. Do you really want to destroy my frogmite? Okay. So let's try to get a land out of this one. Okay. Where is... No, this doesn't work. So I think I can... No, wait, wait. So I can play the Frogmite for free. Then I can try to find the land again. Mirror Enforcer, one, two, three, one, three, four. Cannot play it, right? Well, pass. Oof. Brutal. Yeah. That was a pretty unfortunate hand. Come on, Lens. Uh, let's go to game two. <laughs> I, I just want more lands, honestly. I don't, I don't really want to sideboard, I just want more lands. So Thoughtcast is almost unplayable, right? So we may as well use something that we can play. Graveyard, I don't think so. Hydrobrush could be useful, but it's a reactive card. I really... I don't know. I guess this is it. This is it. Yeah, maybe Thoughtcast is what should be going out during sideboarding because it's very difficult to play it anyway. Sure. Land, Ginger Brute, Land, Frogmite. This is a keep, although if they have the Cannonade again, it's gonna be a disaster. Next turn, I'll have five artifacts and I can play the two mirror enforcer, which is nice. Bolt in the face? Mm, no, I don't think so. Draw. All the lands. Enforcer. I'm doing this before combat because maybe he wanted to, you know, do some tricks, kill my creatures, so. I, I'm sure I can have at least one Enforcer in play if I cast it with, with, when I have priority in my main phase. Cast into the fire on the white land. Sure. Okay. Are you sure you don't want to kill an Enforcer? Um, he fears the all the glitters. Mm, maybe, I don't know. I think if you fear all that glitters, you should stay open. Just kill my lands like this. I don't know. Um, is, there, is there anything better than going to combat now? I guess trying to draw. Well, the best card I can exile is a thought cast now that I have the Let's go. Siding out the thought cast and then steal a decent card. Destroy target artifact. Uh, stop there. Enforcer. Oh, uh, maybe I, I already had seven. One. No, uh, I needed to play the that one. Okay. Combat. Let's go. I don't think you should play naturalize. Isn't isn't there anything better? I don't know. He's stuck on land. So, Thoughtcast is good when we can cast it. 
and the protection from red or from green is okay and we can also give protection to our land so i think this is okay let's go land ginger brute uh, land thoughtcast and pray yeah that's the plan Well, land ginger. Choose target, blah, blah, blah. Sure. I think it doesn't really make any difference. I'll just hit you for one. I don't play the experimental synthesizer as I could only cast uh, Ornithopter, so it's not worth it. Then maybe he will try to destroy my other land and I can defend it. Yeah, for sure. Target. Pro green. worth it to draw combat keeping the land drop very nice for us upkeep I guess frogmite is okay he doesn't have the red mana to deal to damage to all creatures so I don't really mind I think a synthesizer is okay as well. Find the thought cast. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I've already played the land, so I think I'll just go to combat. I have to be conscious of, of the two damage to creatures. I may be interested in killing this now. So is there anything I can play if I get my synthesizer back? I don't think so. Thoughtcast, I had only two, and I was very lucky to draw them. Mm. No, this is a pass. Yep. So let's try to find all that glitters. Synthesizer. Well, okay, all the glitters. There you go. Uh, here. Okay, very explosive deck. I see the I see the <laughs> appeal of playing Southcast. I'm not sure this mana base is okay though. Like maybe all these normal lands should be dual lands. Like I should play the full Rust, Rust Veil Bridge, Razor Tide Bridge, Silver Bluff Bridge. Maybe if I play the full double lands, then this makes sense. Yeah, anyway, I toy around a little bit with the mana base. The deck is it's definitely powerful. And maybe the sideboard also needs some tinkering. But yeah, I'll see you for the next uh, video. Cheers.